I'm part of the ambassador. Oh, sweet. The meeting's being recorded. Anyway, I'm a part of the okay, ambassador start again. program at UVU. And I'm a sophomore. I'm Kirian. Hi. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're here to talk to you guys today a little bit about our campus, some of our opportunities. And yeah, so I have a video that uh, Renee will share with you guys, and then we'll, I'll be here to answer any of your questions. And yeah. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can see the screen. Hey, Renee, there's no sound on our end. Like we can't hear any sound from that video. My Thank neighbor. you for telling me. Okay, so, oh, I think I just realized why, just one second. Let's try this again. Do you have so sound? Donna, do you guys, Xander, do you have sound? Well, nothing's playing yet, so I don't know. Okay, tell me. Did you have sound in that? I still haven't heard anything, no. No one's heard anything. No, me either. Can, are you seeing anything? No, I'm not. I can okay. see I can see the video when you play it, Renee, but there's no sound at all. Because I said it, gosh. It said that I sh I'm sharing it. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to... Um, as Melania Trump has changed into her former fashions for the occasion, she left Washington and it's cold for the sunny skies of Florida and the changed her wardrobe accordingly as they will drive off, as you mentioned, uh, 60 minutes and, and counting until we have a new president. Okay. I need feedback again. Tell me if you can um, hear this. And, um, definitely You're good. Yep, good to go. Sorry about that. Welcome to Utah Valley University, home of the Wolverines, over 40,000 students, and a campus right in the heart of Orem, Utah. UVU was originally founded in 1941 at the local fairgrounds, but we have come a long way since then, now becoming the biggest university in the state of Utah. A lot has changed, and we won't be able to get through everything today, but hopefully within the next few minutes, we hope that we can give you a taste of what it's like to become a student here, or what to expect when you're on a campus tour. Now our first stop is our Pope Science Building. Let's go there. Let's get it. Get it. Our Pope Science Building houses our Earth Science, Chemistry, and Physics programs, as well as our Folk Halt Pendulum, which takes exactly 37 hours and 11 minutes to knock over all of those pegs, and also proves that the Earth is rotating right as I speak. Also, campus legend dictates that if you see one of the pegs fall, you'll ace your next test. Hmm. Our Pope Science Building also has our planetarium. UVU students have the opportunity to take astronomy classes with professors who regularly use the Hubble telescope. Clark Building at UVU houses our social science and humanities departments. We also have a 23 to 1 student to professor ratio in our classrooms, which ensures you that you can choose between classes that are big or small. We also have non-auditorium options at every class. On top of that, we have faculty offices, which will allow you to have your questions answered and your concerns addressed by your professors. Hey, Rag, hey, how's it going? What's up, Career? How did your meeting with your astronomy professor go? I gotta stop sleeping in class. Makes I'll sense. See, I'll see you later, man. See you, bro. Yeah. The Brownie 
Learning Administration Building is one of UVU's best and prime examples for in-person student resources. Whether you have questions about financial aid, scholarship, or just finance questions in general, we have many professionals here to help walk you through. The Browning Administration Building also has the office of our president. President Astrid Tamines is UVU's seventh president and also our first female president. After getting degrees from BYU, MIT, and Harvard, as well as served as an executive for Microsoft in Southeast Asia. Upon taking the office of the president, Astrid Tamines has done a great job with diversity and inclusion, as well as pushing new initiatives for first-generation students and reminding everyone that UVU is a place for you. Life and Wellness Center. This is a place where students can come and relax, meet new friends, they can also work out, and we have all sorts of activities here. We also have our student gym, which is free to students that take 10 or more credits. We have the project, a three-story rock climbing wall. We also have three full-size basketball courts, a dance room, everything you can need as a student. We also have bowling alleys down here. We have video games, foosball, pool, all sorts of activities for students. And lastly, we have the Reflection Center, which is a place for student meditation and prayer. Fulton Library is one of UVU's most valuable student resources. Whether you're looking to check out material, do some studying with some friends, or go check out our one-of-a-kind stained glass art exhibit, The Roots of Knowledge. Truly, the Fulton Library has it all. It really does. The first two floors function as regular study floors, meaning you can get together with some friends, grab something from Mom Fulton's Cafe, and just have a great hangout at the Fulton Library. The first two floors also offer circulation desks where you can check out any material you want from textbooks, microphones, camera equipment, you name it, they'll probably have it. So, uh, Phil and I are gonna go grab some lunch. Do you want anything? I'm good, thanks. You sure? Yeah. Okay, see you, Brock. <laughs> Bye. The second floor of the Fulton Library has a ton of student resources, including many computers to use, and even the Writing Center, which will help students get professional expertise on their papers. Got a big final paper due? Well, head on in there and let them help you catch the little and not so little mistakes. So it says here, adjective. What, what even is that? They're gonna help you out right over there, fella. They've got you, you got this. The top three floors of the library not only provide some of the quietest study rooms on campus, but also the best views. So whether you're looking to come and study up here in these quiet rooms, or you'd like to rent one of the large private rooms, you can do that at the library website. The Liberal Arts Building at UVU is where students will take a majority of their general education courses. We also offer free tutoring in subjects such as math, science, health, and language. And if you're feeling up to the challenge, you can actually become a tutor in one of these subjects and get paid for it. Also in this building, we have our Center for Global and Intercultural Engagement that is split into three offices. First one, Global Office of Engagement, Multicultural Student Services, and our International Student Services. These offices show our dedication to inclusivity and diversity. So whether you're from in-state, out of town, or around the world, there's a place for you at UVU. And not only is there a place for you at UVU, there's a place for UVU students around the world. Make sure to go to our Office for Global Engagement to learn more about our study abroad opportunities. The Woodbury School of Business offers over 20 bachelor's degrees, ranging from accounting, finance, economics, HR, and business management. Our students are high achieving academically, but also when they compete at competitions, such as the Enactus National Competition and the International Association of Registered Financial Consultants National Financial Plan Case Study Competition. You should get an award just for remembering that. Thank you. The Woodbury School of Business also offers the Business Writing Lab, Talent Sourcing Services, and many tutoring opportunities. The 
Valhalla flag provides a unique aesthetic feature. Each flag here represents a country recognized by the United Nations. Not only does this hallway represent the many nations UVU students come from, but the potential impact UVU students have around the entire world. Another unique aesthetic feature here are the exposed multicolored pipes. Back when UVU was a trade school, the students would color these pipes to know which way they led during construction. Today, we leave these pipes exposed as a testament to our commitment to engage learning. Back then, our students probably didn't know that the process they went through of learning by doing is still represented today on campus. UVU is a great place to catch a show. And for those ready to give the performance of a lifetime, it's an incredible space to star in the show as well. Not only is this building one of the most beautiful buildings in the state, it, look, it serves a great purpose, connecting the community and the university. Home of the Utah Symphony and multiple local productions, this building looks to serve UVU performing arts students and the community at large. With a gorgeous concert hall, stunning theaters, dance halls, and plenty of space for UVU students to practice, edit, rehearse, and perform in, it's no doubt that the Norton Center for the Performing Arts represents some of the best UVU has to offer to both our prospective students and the community at large. The Gunther Technology Building is actually one of our oldest buildings on campus today. Dating back from when we were just a trade school, we still offer many of those programs, ranging from construction management, cabinetry, and even woodworking. As UVU has grown and expanded, so have the programs we offer. So the Gunther Tech is now home to many of the programs from the School of the Arts, which include painting, illustration, 3D design, and ceramic studios, where students are free to make their first masterpiece. Wow, great job, Brock. Imagine going to college and building a 1969 El Camino from the ground up, racing it on the salt flats, and then breaking four land speed records while you do it. Well, guess what? Here at UVU's Sparks Automotive program, our students did just that. They can study tons of stuff like technology management, automotive technology, diesel mechanics, collision repair, street rod, and even power sports. As time goes on, a lot of universities will drop their trade or tech programs. But here at UVU, we try to prioritize them and make sure that they have their own place here on our campus. And not only are they preparing for a competitive work field, but they're also having a blast doing it. Welcome to the UVU Losey Center, a building with some classrooms, but mostly student resources like the mentor program, where there is a mentor who can help you get that college experience. We also have our first year advising center where they can help you adjust to university life. We also have our career development center and career lab where they can help you find jobs. And in our career lab specifically, they will help you with your resume and your cover letter so you can really nail that big interview that you have coming up. You will not believe the things they've done to my resume, Ryan. What big changes did they help you make? Well, first off, it looks so much cleaner, right? They did make me change my name, uh, the font from Comic Sans. Oh, that makes sense. You know, I thought it was the right move. Yeah. At the Losi Center, we also have other programs, such as the Women's Success Center, that will help students knock down barriers to be able to graduate on time and navigate the university experience. We also have accessibility services, which will help students with any sort of permanent or very mental or physical disability. We also have other programs such as the Honors Program, which we encourage everyone to apply to. They offer honors level courses where you have to keep a 3.4 GPA, but you get so many benefits such as priority registration and scholarships. Just applied to the Honors Program, Ryan. How'd it go? It went okay. Um, I forgot about the Comic Sans thing. And the guy interviewing me uh, did major in graphic design, so. But I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, okay, you'll get him. I got it. Okay. The 
Sorensen Center is full of different student resources to ensure that you have a safe, informative, and even delicious college experience. This building holds the Grand Ballroom, Center Stage, and Reagan Theater, meaning if you want to go see a proficient public speaker, attend a job fair, or dance the night away, this building will show you what the college experience has entailed for you. Well, and it also has Campus Connections, which is where you're going to get your student ID, discounted concert tickets, and even a complimentary UVX pass. Well, also it has the lost and found. Thank you for holding this again, by the way. Upstairs, we're going to have our student health services. That's where you're going to be able to make sure you can be physically and mentally well for all the college life you have ahead of you. Not only that, but what would college be like without a bunch of university swag and great things to eat? The Swordson Center has it both. High five to that. So come on down, get yourself a sweet UVU hoodie, but then also sit down to some delicious food. Dude, college could not get better than this, dude. I'm telling you. You got a little, like... Right here? Yeah, right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll keep some there for later, actually. Oh, it's too good. For many people, a huge part of the college experience is sports. Baseball, basketball, volleyball, wrestling. In terms of athletics, UVU has a lot going on. Whether you're looking to take the stand yourself with the rest of the student body or step onto the court, how could you not imagine yourself here? Another amazing thing, you can get in on all the action for free with your UVU ID. That's it. We are so excited for sports to start up again here at UVU, but for now, we require that you wear a mask anytime you're inside a building. We want to keep our entire community safe. Now, sports aren't back quite yet, but they will be. And we're so excited for you to join in in all the action here at Utah Valley University. And remember, there's a place for you at UVU. Alrighty, guys. Um, so that's our campus tour video. So I'm here to answer any questions. If you guys want to unmute, you have, I um, can tell you stories. I can answer any questions about buildings or majors or, so yeah, now would be the time to hear from you guys. Karen, maybe you want to tell us why you decided to go to UVU. Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, why I decided UVU? Yeah, I can tell you guys that. Okay, so actually I went my junior year to tour Dixie State College with a few of my friends and um, didn't really vibe with the campus, but I... Um, really liked the guy who like gave us the tour and I asked him I'm like what are you and he's like oh I'm a university ambassador and I'm like that's cool um and I was like what like does that entail and he like talked to me a little bit about it and so then I later on as you heard in the video they talked about the honors program so I got um accepted into UVU's honors program and so then I was like well UVU I really and that's where my mom went to college too so I was like that's where I'm going and um, then I applied for the ambassador program and now here I am too. So like, that's kind of my story. Uh, yeah, I'm from around here, Utah. I'm uh, Utah County is where I grew up mostly. And yeah, I really love it. I'm a CJ major, which is actually kind of weird in the ambassador program. A lot of people are business majors and communications majors because they're the ones who like to talk in front of people. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's really cool. I really love the campus. The teachers are amazing. I've been doing really well in my classes, so that's really nice. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of really cool programs and scholarship opportunities. Like my college is actually paid for between all the scholarships I've been able to achieve. And I didn't even have a 4.0 and a high ACT score. So like there's a lot of opportunities here at UVU. And so that's why I picked it. Yeah. Do you want to tell them what CJ means? Oh, 
I'm a criminal justice major, so I'm majoring in um, like police, like I learn a lot about like policing, corrections, laws, courts, evidence, you know. I want to be one of those like, I want to be a lawyer, but right now I'm taking a lot of classes that would prepare me more to be like a NCIS detective or patrol officer because law school comes after my bachelor's, so yeah. Um, how about, can I have everyone like, can I have the schools on mute and like just hear from all of you what you're like interested in and maybe I can like, would that be something? Like I want to interact with you guys a little bit. I feel really weird talking to like silence. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what kind of stuff are you wanting to them just go around the room and say what they are looking forward yeah, to? Yeah, that would work great. Yeah, that would work great. Okay, who wants to start, guys? We have the biggest room. <laughs> I can just start. Okay, um, so wave your hand at this so she can see. So this is Stockton. Go ahead, Stock. Okay, so I want to be a vet when I get older. So I want to like, so are there like a lot of veterinarian classes? Donna, we can't hear him very well. Can he come closer or something? Go ahead, Stock. Okay, so I want to be a vet when I'm older. It's a really good question. I actually, I don't know about the veterinarian program at UVU. I know we have like a separate campus, like at the airport that deals with like the, um, the nursing stuff. And I'd assume vet stuff would be over there too. Um, I, this is why we usually have two of us here. Um, I would have to look into that more and get back to you on that. Um, but I do think we have a veterinary program but I'm not sure but that's cool I mean I have tons of friends who love like animals and have wanted to do that so but yeah I don't actually know about that program at UVU but cool sorry of course yeah start with the first one <laughs> um yeah who's next let's see Is someone talking? I did Google it. The veterinarian program is a certification program at UVU, I think. So yeah, we do have it. Okay, go ahead. Um, so are you saying like on-campus housing or is there off-campus? And like, you said that all of the buildings are connected to each other. Um, do you like drive anywhere because of that? Or do you just walk around public facilities or, you know, how far is your house from the school? Awesome questions. Okay, so on uh, housing, there really isn't housing like there's not technical on campus housing, but there's um, the green that's being built right now. And some people are like living in some apartments and there are apartments still being built, but it's right there behind the Norda Center. So like you're quite literally like up, you're like across the street from campus, but you're not technically on campus. Um, and that actually if another promotion for the honors program i guess they actually have a housing scholarship over there for the honors program so like it's like if you make the honors program you can actually get like a discounted housing price over there as well so like you can be within walking distance and then we also do have other apartments uh, around campus kind of that have like one has its own um bus that takes you back and forth from the college to the apartment complex so yeah, there are a lot of cool opportunities with housing up here, you know, with all the college students, a lot of the apartment centers have a lot of resources for college students. And then driving, um, campus is all connected. I can honestly, I'm, I'm sure I'm like five feet tall. I can walk from one side of campus to the other within 30 minutes. Um, I mean, campus is pretty big, but like I can walk main campus within 30 minutes. So, I mean, 
yes, you can walk everywhere. There's a lot of stairs, so you get your cardio in, get some uh, calf gains, I guess. But like, yeah, does that answer your question? Yep. Sweet. So here's a question that will help the kids too. So when you applied for your scholarship, how did you feel the process was? Okay, so um, you first have to apply and get admitted to UVU. And then you can go to the scholarship application area. And um, yeah, the scholarship deadline actually for this coming uh, fall semester is February 1st. And that's why we guys are, we're reaching out to you guys now. So you can hurry and apply to UVU, get admitted and start applying for scholarships. Um, but yeah, Feb except actually most of them have been moved to March 1st because of COVID and like our inability. Some are still February 1st, but others are March 1st. So it does depend on the scholarship. And then, um, but yeah, as soon as you are admitted to UVU, you will have a My UVU. you'll get your UVU ID number. And um, from there, you'll be able to look at your financial aid. You'll be able to apply for scholarships and yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah, that was perfect, thank you. Cool. <laughs> We have anything from our Ridgeline student? Um, not really. All right, sounds good. Um, any other questions from Mountain Crest? Yeah, okay. Um, so I mean, the ambassador program is one for me, actually, I love the ambassador program, we have our own office on campus, a kind of place to like hang out. And um, it gets you kind of involved with campus. So I really enjoy the ambassador program. I cannot play sports. So like, I'm not um, a sports person, but I know we have a lot of cool like sports teams and stuff that like, I know like our wrestling and both our um, basketball and volleyball teams are all really good. As soon as those start up again in the, like you heard in the video, um, those will be big. And then, um, oh, I play in the jazz band too. So I, I'm not a music major, but I play an instrument and I have, I did all through high school and the jazz band's just an audition group and you can just audition and they'll put you in it if they um, like you. So yeah, I've been in jazz band. This is now my second semester in that. Sorry for this interruption, but can I have Rosie and Kaylee White go down to room 122 and that's Ray King and Kaylee White head to room 122. Sorry, that confused me. I thought someone was asking me a question. I was like, what's going on? Anyway, so yeah, announcement. Um, but yeah, so I do jazz band and then I have the honors program, which um, usually has like, they have these um, activities where they're um, like, you can do like these outdoor experiences or you can, um, they'll get you tickets for things like movie drive-ins like and um, concerts and for experience. And so that's really cool about the honors program. And then I actually haven't had a chance to go to any sporting events because I actually started college in COVID. So I haven't um, had a chance to go to any of those, but like I've gone to, um, like I saw a Panic at the Disco a few years ago in the UCCU center. And that was like probably one of the highlights of my uh, teenage life, you know? And so, yeah. Um, there's a lot and there's something for everybody, you know, I'm kind of one of those, like, I stay inside type people. So, I mean, there's also the Outdoor Adventure Center. Oh, yeah, they didn't highlight that. So the Outdoor Adventure Center is a place on, in the Student Life and Wellness Building where um, you can get things and you can rent things like um, tents, bikes, climbing equipment like all and all that stuff. And you can actually go like out biking or like camping and they have resources for you to just rent those things. Awesome. Any other, does that answer the question? Yeah, like, that's fantastic. Cool. <laughs> I'm just, 
exactly? Sorry, can you repeat that? What is the honors program exactly? And how do you get into the honors program? Okay, so the honors program, um, anyone can apply. And I mean, you heard the requirement is you do have to keep a 3.4 GPA. Um, but what it is, is you can uh, go to the ubu.edu slash honors, and they've got like a, this little description and you can fill out an application for it. And um, it requires you to take a few extra courses. And then it also gives you the opportunity to take some college credit courses at an honors level. So like if you, they usually say like, if you're more of a like AP type person or like you took honors classes in high school that's kind of like the same idea as it's like um a like faster paced more like a deeper version of those classes and then you get these extra classes which are like ancient and modern legacies so like for my ancient legacies class last semester i got to learn all about ancient rome and politics and like i gotta do these huge project projects and like it was really cool and then like this semester I get to read for my modern legacies a ton of memoirs and we get to have like big discussions about like um history and religion so it's actually really cool um that way and then yeah i took like biology and honors and so if i complete all of my honors classes i can do graduate with honors and then they also have this colloquium class that you have to take three times in um to, before you get your associate's degree and that class is the one that gives you like those um, experiences where you can like get tickets to go to the drive-in or like you can they do like a storytelling around like a campfire was one of them or like they'll have you watch like a movie and then you get to have like a discussion with your peers and write a paper on it and get points for it so like there's a that class is more of the fun class where you get like that extra honors experience and you get to like kind of connect with other people that are a little more um uh, intellectually motivated they're like not no emotionally motivated I think is because they like want to have that extra deep conversation with you and so yeah I really have enjoyed it for my um because I've only been in it for a semester but I mean so far it's been really fun and then yeah all you have to do is apply and then depending on um they usually they first um I don't actually know how the application process works. I don't know how I got in, but I know I applied and here I am. So like, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. And yeah, anyone can apply. I mean, some, they might reach out to some depending on like your academic merit scholarships, but I mean, most of the program is by people seeking it out. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Is that confusing? good sweet <laughs> anything else we got like a few more minutes for questions do you guys have anything anyone have any questions about like a degree they're interested in or any programs yeah Okay, well, I'll just kind of wrap up then. Um, so UVU, I mean, has a place for you. I don't know if it is the place for you, but it does have a place for you if that's where you decide to go. There are a lot of great opportunities and it's something that um, I really feel like I belong on the campus and I really enjoy being on campus and the um, resources, the relationships I've been able to make with professors like I've already been able to make like connections with people in the field I'm ready to go into. And um, I've been able to get like expert advice on things that I want to do and pursue. And it's just really, there's a lot of hands-on experience. Like I get to take an anatomy lab next uh, semester and, you know, actually kind of go into the more forensic side of my criminal justice degree, which I'm so excited for. And I've been able to um, do like a crime scene house and like there's a lot of engaged learning at UVU and it's really it's a lot of fun and it's not mostly lecture halls which really helps me because I kind of I don't know about you guys but I don't like sitting through a long lecture all the time so like 
for me, it's been a really good experience. And yeah, um, there's my spill. Thanks guys for coming today. Um, enjoyed uh, talking to y'all and hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much for meeting with us. We appreciate it. Yeah, of course. All right, well, I think that's everything.